All right, this um, is Miss Applegarth, and um, today we are going to talk about Chapter 5, Lesson 3. So it's getting real in here um, with our savings. Our lesson objective is to compute the new balance of a savings account statement. When you have a savings account, your bank may mail or make available on the internet a monthly or quarterly account statement. The bank's account statement shows the status of your account. And this includes all deposits to, withdrawals from, and interest earned and credited to your savings account. Many financial institutions are encouraging their patrons to go paperless and check the status of their account online. So our new balance, so write this formula down, is equal to the previous balance plus interest, interest is added, plus any deposits minus your withdrawals. Let's look at example one together. Lauren receives her savings account statement quarterly. Quarterly means, please write this down. Quarterly means, um, every three months. After checking to be sure all transactions have been recorded correctly, she checks the calculations. What is the balance in her account on July 1st? So she earned $4.11 in interest. So let's take her previous balance, which was $274.50, add in the interest, plus all of our deposits, $250, $125, and $80 and then minus our withdrawals. So our total is 633.61. Okay, we're gonna do um, the same thing here with uh, our concept check. The previous balance in Rolf Lutzker's account is $700. Activities in it include interest, so we're gonna add $1.50. Deposits, we add 100 add 250 and withdraws, so we minus 80 and minus 110. That's just random, okay. All right, sorry, I had to get my pen. Okay, so we go 700 plus $1.50 plus 100, plus 250, minus 80, and minus 110. And we can just throw that in our calculator. 50, minus 80, minus 110. And we get 861.50. Sorry, let's write that down here. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Chrissy Leone's account statement showed a previous balance of $6,756.21. We have $28.15 in interest. We have $12,350.22 in deposit. $3,210.57 in deposit, $3,209.87 in deposit, minus 175 in withdrawals, and minus 2,900 in withdrawals. So let's take a look in our, I'm just going to put in our calculator because I've put my adding and minusing on there. So 6756.21, we're going to add 28.15. Add 12,350 and 22 cents. Add 3,210.57 cents. Add 3,209.87 cents. Withdraw 175, that's a minus, and withdraw 2,900. So our total, and I'm just going to double check that all my numbers match. And I recommend, especially if you guys are taking a test, that you do that before um, you submit any uh, test question or finish anything up. Make sure that your numbers all match. So it's 
$22,480.02. Okay, and um, so I'm going to have you guys, I'm going to show you the answers to the practice so that you guys um, have that at home so you can check on it. All right, and have an amazing day.